1.5. The diagram below represents part of an abnormal human karyotype. Remember that a karyotype is simply a picture showing chromosome number one, we've got two copies of chromosome number one. Chromosome number two, we've got two copies of chromosome number uh, two, going all the way up to the six chromosomes. So there'll be 22 autosomes and there will be our uh, one pair, I'm talking about 22 pairs of autosomes and our one pair of six chromosomes or gonosomes. So this diagram represents part of an abnormal human carrier type. Part, we're only looking at chromosome 21, 22 and 23. How many autosomes are shown in the diagram? Well, pair 23 are the six chromosomes. You can see here's the big X chromosome and here is the smaller Y chromosome. So these chromosomes are gonosomes or six chromosomes. So how many autosomes do we have? One, two, three, four, five autosomes are shown. Name the type of chromosomes represented by pair 23. We can either call them gonosomes or you can call them six chromosomes. Either term is acceptable. Name the disorder represented in the diagram. In the instruction, we, we learned that it was an abnormal human karyotype. We also know that we have a pair of chromosomes, one being the pair, the chromosome from the mother, one being the chromosome from the father. And when we look at this chromosome, chromosome 21, we have three chromosomes, 21s, not two. So what do we call that disorder? You can refer to it as trisomy, meaning three copies of chromosome 21, or it is more commonly known after the scientist who described it, and we often call it Down's syndrome. Name the process during anaphase of meiosis that resulted in one of the cells getting three copies of chromosome 21. During the anaphase of meiosis, we know that one homologous chromosome is of a pair is going to move to one pole and the other is going to move to the opposite pole. But what if both copies of one of those chromosomes move to the same pole? Right, we'd have one down here and three up there. What is this process? And you remember, you learnt about it, non-disjunction. So disjunction means the chromosomes are splitting. Non-disjunction means they're splitting badly. State the gender of the person represented we have an X and a Y, and that represents the male. All right.